Okay, rules of the road. This is really big for 16 year olds. Well, think about what would happen if we did not have rules. We'd be cars be driving everywhere, there'd be wrecks, and people getting killed all the time, right? So just like we have rules of the road, we have like an ambulance, y'all. And the reason I always put the ambulance first is this year. And even those people out there in like video land listening to this here as I'm recording this, you are so important that complete strangers are going to pull over in your time of need to make sure you're okay. Ambulance always has the rules, the priority, and they're what I call the parentheses, okay? They're called the parentheses. We always follow them. And absolute values are like parentheses too, all right? The next thing we, and here's an example, like here I have this three times the parentheses, four plus two, close parentheses. I would do four plus two first, which is six, times three makes 18. So this next one here, we have the fire truck. You know, it's people have pull over for fire trucks too, but ambulances in a sense carry those human lives. And that's what we call it exponents. The exponents are what we, uh, the second rule. And here's an example. I wouldn't do three times four first. I would do the four squared, which is 16. And 3 times 16 is then 48. And next I have a stoplight. Because everybody always hears a thing like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And they say multiply or divide. Yet that's not really true. Because divide could be before multiply on these. All right? That's so like we come to a stoplight. I mean, because we come, I come to a stoplight, does that mean I always stop? No. Because if it's a green light, we go. If it's a red light, we stop. That's what happens here. I do it in order from left to right. So as an example, even though it says multiply first, the divide's written first, left to right, I would do 12 divided by two, which is six, and then take six times four, which is 24. If I did two times four, which is eight, and divided 12 by eight, I would've got three halves, which is not the same thing. So you do which one you see, just like your stoplight. That's why I use the stoplight as an example. And my last example is the yield sign, because add and subtract are like multiply and divide. You do them in order from left to right, but you always do the adds or subtracts after your multiplies or divide. So on this one, I would do the eight minus three first, which is five, and five plus four is nine. I would not do three plus four, just because it says add first and take eight minus seven and get one. You do it by the order, because if you come to a yield sign, doesn't mean I always stop. Sometimes I stop and sometimes I, I go. And like I said, because if you don't follow the rules of the road, you're going to have a wreck, and you have disastrous consequences with your math. Although not as bad as the fire hydrant telling the dog to go away. All right? So, Frank.